Hi, welcome to Nightbird Tarot. My name is Brooke, and this is your full moon love forecast for December 2014. And this reading is for Virgo. And Virgo, the full moon, is in Gemini, which is all about cultivating your sense of adventure and relationships, personalities and attitudes are reflected in relationships, as well as expressing yourself, expressing your feelings in relationships. And Virgo, I pre-shuffled your cards right before the video. And where many of you Virgos are, are at this month in your full moon love cycle, especially for Virgo men, which is noted, you have a court card. And this could be a definite significator card for Virgo men. This court card is all about business, a sound financial business type of mind, person, grounded, but also very centered about decisions. This could be representative for Virgo men in terms of finances. You may be feeling very financially stable or financially secure, but you're also very creative, uh, self-efficient, logical, grounded, and centered about your decisions so this card came up, and I think it's representative for Virgo men, especially. For Virgo women, this can also have personalities or characteristics of people in your life, like husbands, boyfriends, brothers, father-type figures. But this could be an actual person, and this could be personalities or characteristics of Virgo men. So he has come up, and I think he's definitely a significator card for Virgo men this month. From your challenge position for Virgos for the month of December is in relationships. Not all things are going to possibly be the same of relationships that maybe you once had contention with. Not every relationship is going to be a contentious kind of relationship. Just keep that in mind. That Yes, sometimes past patterns are repeated or things that we have ingrained in us at an earliest age in terms of how we react to people or react to relationships. This doesn't necessarily mean that every relationship that we're going to have is going to be full of contention or full of rivalry or full of uh, agitation. So don't bring that to the table this month, Virgos especially if you're forming new relationships, to kind of let that go by the wayside. And definitely don't bring up your exes if you're going out on a first date with somebody. Nobody wants to have to be introduced to your baggage in the first date. So just keep that in mind that all relationships don't have to be filled with past issues of contention, if that's what you possibly you feel that you've had really a lot of challenges with or obstacles with in the past, that these things do not have to be brought into present relationships, whether that's if you're single or coupled up Virgo. What's interesting is, coupled with this, in your past position is a major arcana card, and it's the strength card. Coming from your past position, so this is indicating to me for you, Virgo, that you have overcome obstacles and things in your past. You've had to tap into the deepest, innermost recesses of your heart and mind to overcome things, possibly in relationships where you've had to lean on other people. You've had to have real emotional support coming from your past. So you've been through something, possibly in past relationships, that took a lot of your strength, but you overcome it, okay? This is an indicator card of that, that you know what it takes to lean on your mental strengths, to lean on your emotional strengths, and to know that you have had supportive strengths from other people. That is noted in your past, okay? Now what's beautiful is, in your future outcome position, for the month of December for Virgos is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is all about new beginnings, new starts in relationships. So if you're single out there, Virgos, 
There's a possibility of new relationships forming. There's a possibility of new beginnings forming in relationships. New emotions are brought to the table, emotional renewals, something along the lines of a new start, a birth of something, the birth of a new relationship, the birth of new emotions. This could even indicate pregnancy or marriage for some Virgos out there that are watching. But something on an emotional level, because it's represented by the cups, which are all about emotions and love, but there's a definite new beginning for Virgos this month, whether you're single or attached. And it's all about new beginnings in love. So good luck to you, Virgos. Keep me posted. Enjoy your full moon in Gemini. I will be back next month for your next full moon love forecast. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.